So it'd be always good to get a win down here on Boxing Day. Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, you know, very spirited, confrontational, you know, game, especially in the first half, where we, you know, if we've been honest with ourselves, we were a bit messy, and we spoke at half time about cleaning some of that stuff up and let the emotion sort of subside. And then once we uh, once we managed to do that, we were more accurate, and you know, we managed to get that key ten point lead, and then uh, push on from there, which was great. First win down your competitive game for eight years. We've obviously spoken about in the build-up. Good to get that off the back. Yeah, we've not mentioned that at all this week. <laughs> uh, no, I mean, also to be fair, I didn't have any idea about that until this, you know, till it started the week. And we don't, we did, we put some special attention around that because we knew that the Scarlets are very, you know, emotional about it and take a lot of pride in it, and, and quite rightly so. So it's a great feather in the cap for the lads that they found a way to win. Uh, the biggest positive for us is obviously what that means to our supporters because you know they've had to endure that um, and now uh, you know we can wipe the slate clean and start again. You only conceded one try it was an intercept you must be delighted with how the defence went. Yeah no, I thought the defence was great I mean there is there's some of those sets in the in the first half you have no right um, I know everyone will talk about the missed goal kicks and the, and the, the pressure we we're under but we did we stayed resilient you know and the things we could control and it epitomised me a, a team where effectively you could take the easy route. Luke Morgan's try saving collision, you know, late late on in the piece where, you know, they'll show up pass. So that's that's a really good indicator culturally of the group and you know I'm delighted in that side of the performance for sure. And you go to New Year's Day now to Pajan, Cardiff, we've got a good win today, a good occasion in, in a new venue for you. Yeah, I mean that's an exciting thing. I think that, you know, spreading the love as it were and getting out on the road, it should be cool. Um, they've gone exceptionally well, right? They went well against Bath, even though they didn't get the result. They're playing exceptionally well, so they have their tails up. Um, but you know, we're we'll back ourselves. We're in a game, and um, yeah, we're looking forward to it for sure. I promise you, got to ask you, how's Jack Morgan? That's all right. You're only the 47th <laughs> person. <that's laughs> um, so no, Jack has had an operation this week. Um, so we wish him well, of course. Um, and no one likes to see. Um, any player um, go through that. Um, the operation was a success. It was the right thing to do because you don't know until you obviously with all the best scans until you actually get in there, and um, it, it needed to be done. So that's the, the the best positive. He's a young man that heals quickly, and would have loved nothing more than being out there today. But you know, the the, the certainty about being a professional player is that you know you're going to spend some time injured and that resilience get tested and we'll look to get him better off the pitch so when he comes back uh, which will probably you know will be months not weeks um, he hits the ground running for sure so the six nations will be a struggle yeah yeah for sure yeah great and jack you great you got that try at the end there as well you denied him a bonus point but you also you know put it up to 17 points you must have been delighted with the, the way that the game went yeah look in regards to that try at the end i think it's just off the back of the rest of the boys' hard work as a playing fullback, you're, you're on the end of things. So that was really just the work from the boys in the middle, which they did. They did all game, kept showing up for us. So for me at 15, the less tackles I'm making, the less I'm involved in defence. It, it's it's a win, and I really didn't have to be tonight. So again, credit credit to the heavies and the boy the boys in the front line that um, did a massive job today. And do you enjoy this game, this sort of game, you know, these Boxing Day matches? Yeah, I love it. Um, any of the Welsh derbies, uh, they're awesome to play in, uh, regardless of w whether you're Welsh or not. The build up. Could really feel the travelling support today. Um, I think that was massive for us, particularly in the warm-up. It was something I really sensed. We had a lot of, a lot of Ospreys fans come down, um, and that was good to hear. And then just the build-up, the excitement, like we touched on earlier with Boothy, getting down to the brewery next week. Um, just think it's a good thing for the fans, particularly after a win, win today. Hopefully, going with a bit of, bit of momentum. And James Fender, player of the match again, a massive shift from him. Yeah, I. Um, he he's you know grabbed his opportunity really well, right? You know the. The interesting thing, which sometimes gets lost in those, you talked about Jack Morgan. You know, where do we start? James Ray, Justin Tipperick, and, you know, there's a lot of injured in in our ranks. So the tightness of the group and the effort in the group is great because a lot of people have had to back up week on week, week on you know, game on game. So from that point of view, Fender is sees that op James has seized that opportunity. Um, First thing I said to him that he missed for the intercept that he basically didn't run with intent at the line. So there's always work to go on, and Jack knows that I always try and push to, 
to try and make everyone better. Um, but he's a young player, an exciting talent, and uh, yeah, he's playing well. And how is Morgan Morris? Because he's, he's um, obviously pulled out late two games, but on the flip side, you've got an 18 year old coming in as well in, in his place. Yeah, I mean, Morgan Morris, great, right? Everyone saw what he did with the under 20s. You know, he's got so much growth in him. He's a, he's a, he's a exciting prospect that we enjoy coaching. Um, our captain obviously is injured. Um, we thought you might get back for last week and this week, but we're hoping he'll be back for State of Origin 2 next week, which is, which will be cool. Um, but he's got a calf injury, so those are really difficult injuries to monitor because, especially back rows that have to put a large shift in. You know, you have to go deep into the into the uh, into the contest, so you have to be on the shoulder caution. And look, we're, we're not in a situation where we'll ever make players play at risk, even though sometimes we have to protect them from ourselves. And sometimes it's my decision, even if they think that, it's, that they're OK. Thank you. That second half uh, performance then, how important was it to keep the, the scoreboard ticking over at regular intervals during the game? Well, I think, I, th I mean, for us, obviously, it's important to get your nose in front, especially when we've been under extreme yeah. pressure. I think the you know, and we've all coached sides that are sometimes a little bit bereft of confidence when things haven't gone your way. And the more times that they stay in touch and distance, the more confidence grows. So I think there was a double whammy for us. It was us getting past the emotion of the of the occasion and being us, because I think I think in the second half that was a much better reflection of what we were all about, defensively aside, because we were great. Um, but also. At some point, you know, it's difficult to try and keep rallying the troops if you're getting used to not being having a positive result. So, I think it's a bit of a seesaw, and we were fortunate in ourselves. You know, we talk about ourselves and not them. Is that we we managed to get that key score at ten yeah. points in front, and that makes a difference. What well, what were the thoughts at half time then when it was a nil nil affair? Yeah, no, well, let's be honest, it shouldn't have been. Yeah. So, you know, we were grateful that we were and. To be honest, and excuse me, we were bloody awful at, at times. Um, but it was comes from a, a position of emotion and intent. And if you've got that and you can clean it up, all of a sudden it changes. We were much cleaner, much brighter, and much more resilient because obviously we, we went hot behind straight away in the block, yeah. whatever it was. But to get back, get back on top, you know, we know Scarlets are a good team, and if they get their tails up, it's difficult. To show that resilience and trust and faith is a great, a great advert for how much this team cares about each other.